Hello everyone, welcome back to Motorbike Garage Mechanic Simulator. I missed the video last week, and uh, I do apologize for that. But, let's see if we can't break something today. How about that? Yeah, I told uh, I told somebody in chat to ask me when the next uh, Motorbike Garage Mechanic Simulator was going to be, and I missed the video. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on, ended up not being able to record. And uh, I'm currently getting ready to go out of town as you're watching this probably well not as you're watching this i'm probably still asleep but uh i will be getting ready to go out of town later today i don't know what we're supposed to be doing on this uh so uh this video and a couple more this week is probably going to be about it i'm not going to be able to get all the videos out that i wanted to get out but uh you know that's the way life is sometimes i guess let's see clutch that's right we never did find a clutch brake disc uh, fuel filter, spark plugs. I think we have all of our parts. We just have to find the clutch, the brake disc. All right. Is it the front brake disc or the back brake disc or both? Did we ever find a way to take the brake disc off? Okay, so let's just go into this mode. Let's look at uh, disassembly preview here. Um, I never did find the clutch, although I know it's on this side somewhere. This is the clutch right here. Right there. That. No. The, oh no, the clutch is up here. The shifter is what I'm thinking about. Clutch lever. Clutch cable. It's got to be in the drivetrain, right? I thought we did find this. Maybe we didn't. Uh, let's see. I need to take the drive guard back off, I think, because it's got to be down here in the drive. Like, th that only makes sense. Gearbox. Uh, foot starter lever. Foot brake lever. Is that the foot brake lever? Yeah, that whole thing is. Drive shaft. It's got to be inside here somewhere. Uh, alternator, alternator cover, uh, clutch, it's right there, clutch, it's right here, I thought we replaced the clutch already, alright, go into disassembly mode, I'll start pulling some screws out here, try to get this thing out of here, Try to find the other screws. This may take a minute. Uh, bear with me and enjoy the music. Having to take these things on and off. Uh, I think once I take these off, I'm going to leave them off until the last thing. Because uh, having to pop this guard on and off really gets cumbersome after a while. I don't think I have to take this off to get the guard off there, do I? No. Okay. There's just some screws in the back somewhere I gotta find. Right there's one. Okay. There's another. There's one. Uh, I think we're getting pretty close here. Let's go ahead and pop this off and this off. Missing a screw. I don't think so. Check down this end again. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? No. Go ahead and put that one back. Pretty sure I'm not missing any screws here. I don't know what else to take off. Clutch is right here, though. I need to get this guy off here. Uh, let's see. Any more screws? Uh, maybe I do need to take that off. Okay. Drive guard's still not coming off. More screws down here? No, I think we've been over that before. 
There's two little screws somewhere that I'm missing here somehow. Oh, nope, there it is. That was it. It was the one. All right, there's the clutch. So I need to take that out. Take this off. Parts too damaged. Perfect. Okay, assembly mode. Put the clutch back on. There we go. We'll put this back on. What else do we need to change? Hang on, before we take that, take that back off. Uh, let's go see what else we need to change. Because I'm pretty sure if we have to change brake disc, we're gonna have to leave that off. Uh, brake disc. Uh, so I guess that's front and back. And if that's front and back, we're going to have to take the back wheel off of this thing, which means we're going to have to take uh, all of this off. And there is a bracket underneath the seat right here. Uh, where else is there a bracket? Back here? No? What else is holding the seat on? I don't know what else holds the seat on. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this bracket that's holding the seat on. Ah, okay. Uh, rear fender. It's a whole new on rear fender. I just took that loose. Something down here. Ah. There go. Rear fender's coming off. Now I need to take the chain off. Take this guy out. That off. This needs to come off. Some little bitty screws right there that needs to come off. And there's a brake line. Pull that go off. Now we can pull this off. Now we can pull brake disc off. There we go. Brake disc. Assembly mode. Perfect. Put all these screws back in. Boy, this got complicated quick. Uh, I feel like... Uh, the little break I took from this game helped me a lot. It kind of gave me some clarity, you know? Uh oh. Nope, wasn't that one. It was this one. Yeah, sometimes taking a little break gives you some clarity. It's nice. Uh, we need the brake line. There we go. Put that back on. That back on, put the chain back on. We probably should have put the chain back on as we put the wheel back in, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, fender. Yep. There we go. Got a little screw right there. Got a couple right here. That one. Seat. Yes, that seat back on. We got a couple of screws right here we need to put back in. That one and that one. Okay. Uh, rear brake disc assembled. Nice. Now we need to take the front one off. Let's see. But this one's going to be much easier. Uh, disassemble mode. What in the world is holding the front fender now? Uh. Okay. I don't see anything else that could be holding the front fender on. Like absolutely nothing could be holding this front fender on right now. Why not? Why aren't you coming off? All right, let's just try this. Let's try taking this off first without removing the front fender. No, fender has to come off. Why won't you come off? Is this in the way? that in the way no I'm missing something here this is very strange this should come off let's see I take that loose 
What is that going to do to me? Nothing. Okay, let's put that back on there then. Before I forget them. This one here. That there. Okay. What am I missing about this front fender? I'm missing something. Something severe here. Aha! Well, I didn't have to do that after all. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let's see. I just had to pull the front axle out. That was weird. Good deal. Okay. Put all this back in. I didn't have to take the fender off. How stupid. That guy back on there. Put these two little screws back in here. And stick this one back on this side. And we need to put the brake pads back on this thing. They go right there. Put that back on, and there was a screw right here somewhere. It was that one. All right, let's go see how close we are. Fuel filter and spark plugs. Okay, I know we've already bought all the parts for this thing. It was just figuring out where that was. Fuel filter. Uh, that's the battery cover. There's a fuel filter. There's a cover here somewhere. Uh, fuel filter. Going to be in the fuel line. Oil pipe. Is it in the, uh, is it in the gas tank? Is there a filter right here? Let's take the fuel tank off real quick and just see. It's right here. Fuel filter. What I thought. Alright, assembly mode. But a new one. Wait a minute, is that the same one? The same one. Hang on a second. Let's go, let's go make sure we bought the part for this. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go to Frozen Monkey because that would be easier. Uh, fuel filter... Pretty sure we bought no fuel filter. Uh, fuel filter FF711. F711. Maybe it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy it just because I don't know if, if that was the used one or not because we're putting the same one back on here. Uh, I figure go ahead and buying it would be the best bet. We want to pull that one off. And go assembly mode FF711. Okay, we did have two of them. That's okay. Uh, I'm not going to be too upset about it. Uh, mainly because I want to make sure that we get the right thing on there. And uh, that helps. So, And then spark plugs, right? Spark plugs are easy. I think it was spark plugs. Hang on a second. I keep having to go back and double check this just because I want to do this right the first time. This job is not paying that much. Oh, no, we're done. Spark plugs are done. Okay. Um, put this back together now. Get all these screws in the back first. I know there's two right here. There's a lot to keep up with. And it's really hard, this, this camera, you're moving it with your keyboard. Oh, I can move it with the mouse too, okay. Uh-huh, there's one. But it's only to a certain spot. But after I get in a certain spot here, I can, uh, I can move with the... Uh, you can move with the middle mouse button, I guess. Yeah, okay. That helps a little bit. It's, it's better pinpoint accuracy, honestly. It's like seeing that screw hole right there is kind of tough to do. And then we got one more somewhere. Or do we? No, I think that's all those on the back, actually. That helped a lot, being able to just move uh, one uh, one little spot there. Yeah, doing that instead of having to use my keyboard and it's all kind of jumpy and when you're in those little small areas like that it's kind of tough 
Oh crap, I don't know which one was on here. No, it wasn't that one. This one. Okay. That back on. I've still got the, the foot rest and stuff off the other bike, so. Uh, and we might bring that one back over here since we're getting a little bit better about where we're at. On uh, how to put stuff back together, so. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Assembly preview. This is assembled part seven. Oh crap. Okay. Where are they? Should be showing green on the parts I have to put back together. Oh, right here. Okay. Is that it? Just these little parts back here? I hope so. Assembly mode. Uh huh. Okay, so that was one. Get the screws back in here. This is what I was talking about, having to move this thing ever so slightly, and it's still really hard to do. Got to get down inside this thing so I can see that. There we go. Now then. Uh, that gets really tricky after a little while. Alright, let's put this back on here. And put a couple of screws back in. Disassembled part zero. We are done, folks. We finally finished that bike. Nice. Now we can, uh, we can send that one off. Uh, how much is it paying? 1600 bucks. Yeah, that took us a ton of time. We lost a massive amount of time there. You reached a higher level. Nice. Uh, $1,477 experience to get the full task. We need to preserve the colors of the client's motorbike. Okay, whatever. I thought we did, but whatever. All right. Uh, $4,000. We need to place the alternator battery clutch brake disc and uh, fuel filter spark plugs that's not that hard actually now that I know where the battery's at on this thing and the clutch the alternator shouldn't be hard the alternator's on the uh, it's like right here that's the alternator cover I think uh, I still want to know what this one is doing I got 34 disassembled parts on this thing holy moly okay a lot of it's just screws and stuff uh, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing on this bike. Let's go see. Uh, go back. With that one. This one. So, rear brake. Now that we know how to take the brake and stuff off. Hand grips, fuel filter. Uh, foot starter lever. The foot starter lever is the part I could not figure out. So, we're going to... Uh, how do I set this thing off of the... Oh, no. I just get another bike. That's what it is. Alright, well, we're going to have to do that in the next one. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I know this is a slightly shorter one, but I'm trying to keep these between 15 and 20 minutes. So uh, that tends to work out the best. Uh, that way we don't get bored of sitting here just turning wrenches on one motorcycle all day long. Uh, this doesn't have quite the variety that Car Mechanic Simulator has. So uh, it's it's a bit, uh, it can get a bit monotonous for me to sit here and record for 30 or 35 or 45 minutes. So I'm trying to keep these between 18 and 20 minutes. That way you guys can enjoy and watching them too. Uh, but thank you so much guys for watching. If you haven't been, go over and check out my Twitch channel. I have I've made affiliate on there and we've been making some huge strides, guys. You guys are amazing. The community is growing um, and the views and support from you guys are just absolutely awesome. Uh, also, here on YouTube, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so because I upload videos here as well. So not the same videos I stream. I do upload edited versions of the streams, but you also get uh, other content like uh, Garage Mechanic Simulator and, or Motorbike Garage Mechanic Simulator. Um, PC building simulator, farm simulator stuff. So there's all kinds of different stuff on YouTube. Uh, I also stream some of it on Twitch. Some of the stuff I don't stream on Twitch. So uh, be sure to follow me on both and check out both channels. I am working hard to make uh, to make my community uh, happy, and uh, I appreciate everybody that is a viewer, subscriber, uh, subscriber on Twitch as well, uh, or a follower on Twitch, and. Uh, uh, patrons patrons guys thank you so much you guys kind of kick-started this whole thing for me being able to pick up new games this and that and all the people that have donated games i much appreciated you as well i'll see you guys in the next one later everybody